Devil's Pond 2003. Direct to DVD psychological thriller. You don't know how hard it is to make a dead man proud. I absolutely fucking love this movie. It's just so great. Don't let the direct DVD title sway you from watching this. I know a lot of people have seen it, and if you've always overpassed it, you got to check this one out. This is my second time watching it since it pretty much came out. It's the simplicity of it. It's the wilderness setting, like Canadian type. It's not tropical. It is set on an island, like one of those small islands that you see in a lake, and you're like, oh. And they, like, built a little cabin on it. It basically, the setting of it is, it's this newlywed couple, Kip Pardue, Tara Reed. They filmed this when they were about in their mid-twenties, and they're newlyweds on their honeymoon, and they go out into the kind of Canadian type of wilderness, rural, middle of nowhere. It's the simplicity of it that's just amazing. It's, it's almost the epitome of like a 2000s horror film look and feel and the soundtrack of it. I just love that type of soundtrack, secret window type of feel. Tara Reid, the lead actress in this. You gotta put this in perspective. This came out at the end of 2003, directed DVD for whatever reason. She was still on a career hot streak. She was about 26 when she filmed this, coming off American Pie 2, coming off of My Boss's Daughter, and even the main chick in Van Wilder. And then everything she pretty much did after this, Remember she had the botched plastic surgery where her stomach got looked effed up. She tried to get like plastic surgery on her abs or something. And then that kind of ruined her career. And she already sounded kind of like a guy at this point. And then she was entering her late 20s. So, And then every pretty much film she's ever done since has been directed to DVD. Including Incubus. <laughs> So she's basically like a materialistic 21st century girl and her boyfriend takes her out on this place that he would go to as a kid. And what ensues is he's basically like a controlling boyfriend and she doesn't know how crazy he is and they later learn out that he has this safety box and and the contents in it are all like mementos of him stalking her and he basically grew up then we finally learned that he kind of basically grew up in the wilderness under his dad's domineering relationship where he was basically isolated and his dad kind of like raised him on his own ideals of what life should be and hey you need to get a wife and get a family you're not a real man to get a wife and get a family and kind of brainwashed him that way and so he kind of like became this this monster mindset of having the ideal life and it didn't and he's so psychotic that he isn't aware of other people's emotions and he kind of forces Tara Reed. She doesn't know that his plan is to move her up there and keep her on this isolated on this small island and secluded in the world. And it's pretty crazy how it unfolds. Even though the, there really is no one on the outside cast. Meredith Baxter does this short scene in the beginning for the wedding and then they go off to the honeymoon. And then it's just them the rest of the movie. And Kip Pardue's performance as a psycho is just amazing. I mean, I've seen a lot of psycho slashers and psychos in movies, and his performance just keeps you so engaging with, with the cigarette that he smokes and the way he delivers his line, and there's so many good lines. I mean, you gotta see this movie. And then she's got the old flip phone and no service, and for script convenience, she's a bad swimmer, and that's how he's able to keep her there on this island. Then he takes the raft away and he ends up locking her up on a chain and it's awesome. What? Then he's like, what, you think you're fucking smarter than me? Well, figure this one out. You are never getting off of this island. Absolute classic. I give it a B plus. 
amazing direct to DVD, and then it went direct to basically Lifetime movie. If you search it every now and Lifetime or search it on direct TV, you could find it. They play it all the time on TV at Lifetime Movie Network channel. And you can check it out on YouTube. It's been on YouTube for a while now, but definitely got to give credit to the writer and producer and director of this film. Absolutely enjoy this film. Awesome rewatching it. I think that's all I pretty much have to say. This was JBM for Mr. Creep Show 9, Devil's Pond, the 10-year anniversary.